The life you are living today is the exact picture of what you said yesterday. You may not agree with that, but it's still true. You know, you don't have to believe something. It's just true anyway. Somebody said, well, I don't believe in the force of gravity. Well, you're still on the ground. It's keeping you there. Doesn't matter that you don't believe it. It's still working. Hallelujah. We just read in the 21st verse of the 18th chapter of the book of Proverbs. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the, within the authority of the tongue. Your tongue can give you death or can give you life. He says, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. It's up to you. What you choose is what you get. But you're not just going to get it because you chose it. The real choice is made by your speaking. You better believe it. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Dear, 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 dear. You are today what you said yesterday. Your life today represents everything you said before today. You still there? You say to yourself every day, it's possible. You say that every day to yourself, it's possible. Because what does that do? See, it begins to change your belief system. See, the way in which we operate, ladies and gentlemen, it's a manifestation of what we believe, what's possible for us. Whatever you've done up to this point, all that it really is, is a duplication, it's a reproduction of what you believe subconsciously that you deserve and what's possible for your life. Most people operate out of their personal history, out of their memory, things they've done, things they've experienced, things they've seen, things that they have observed. What I'm suggesting that you operate out of a larger vision of yourself. I want you to see yourself doing what you want to do, experiencing what you want to experience it, having what you want to have, doing what it is that gives your life some meaning and value. Operate out of your imagination, not your memory. Because whenever you look at where you want to go, I'm wanting to warn you, you will have some conversation back here after you go through the data that you've experienced in life saying you can't do it. And so what you want to begin to do is ignore that inner conversation. Well, most people, ladies and gentlemen, when something happens to them, what they do is they begin to believe that that's the way it is. That's the way it's always been. And they can't see the possibility of it being any different. Example. Before April 1954, the common belief, the universal belief, because it had been tried again and again and again and people had failed, the belief was that man was not physically capable of breaking the four-minute barrier, that he could not run a mile in less than four minutes. That was the belief on the planet. It had never been done. But here's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Roger Bannister came along and he broke the four-minute barrier. Now here's what's significant about that. Since that time, up to this day, over 20,000 people have done it, including high school kids. What changed? 20,000 people, what changed? Here's what happened when they got on the track. They knew it had been done. And because they knew it had been done, there was a new belief about this barrier, about this goal that was unreachable. And those 20,000 people got in a race believing, knowing in their heart that someone had done it, that it's possible that they could do it. And I'm saying that if you know anybody that had some goal, some dream, something they wanted to do, and they did it, then I'm saying that you know in your heart that if someone has done it, then you can do it. It's possible. And that if someone can make that dream become a reality, that it's, it's possible 
that you can make your dream become reality. And so as you begin to look at where you want to go, beginning to embrace that, it's possible. I'm blessed and highly favored. I've got a lot going for me. I've got some good stuff in me. And it's possible that I can bring my greatness out here in the universe. That I can do what I want to do. It's possible I can write my own book. I can have my own business. I, I can take the trip and travel around the world. It's possible. I can bounce back from adversity and reinvent my life. It's possible, regardless of where I am, that things can get better for me. It's possible. And I'm thinking about two men right here in Chicago who are fairly successful. If you get yourself in a state of certainty that this is going to work, I'm going to find the way. And if this doesn't work, I will make the way. Then you tap a lot more potential. And when you're certain in your potential, you take massive action. When you take massive action, you really believe in something, you get great results. When you get great results, your brain goes, see, I told you I was a stud. I told you this thing would work out. Now you're even stronger. You tap more potential, take greater action, greater results. That's how you went from 300 bucks in a week to 2,500 in five days to 100,000 in a month to a million bucks in a day. Same thing with you. And we get momentum. That's why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Is that now when you go to do it, there's no hesitancy and you execute. It's having that absolute certainty that makes you tap your full potential, take massive action, get massive results, be reinforced to have even stronger belief. This is what makes somebody a star at anything. You want your stuff? It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. And here's something you've got to resolve. Say this to yourself every day. See, as long as you're breathing, you've got to shout at your dream. That's the way I resolve. Say this, please. It's not over. Until I win. You've got that right. It's not over till I win. Not over till I get through. It's not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. Door can't open today, look out. I'm gonna come back and take the hinges off. That's, that's how you gotta do that. You've got to have that kind of courage, that type of determination. If you want to make it happen, it's you. That you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. That you have got to, to own what it is that you want to do. If it's taking care of your well-being, if it's making a difference in our school system, if it's working with senior citizens, if it's to protect our ecology, if it's to create an economic renaissance, if it's just to take yourself to another level, it's you. You've got to make that happen. We can point out many things that can make it inconvenient or can slow us down, but ultimately, it's on us. Next step is... Now